Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys how you can upgrade your internal storage for your laptop to make your laptop a lot faster. Remember that this is to go laptop for me. I know this is a gaming laptop. It's Asus and it has 16 gig RAM with one terabyte internal storage. Here's a little problem. The internal storage is a regular hard drive. So it is running 2.5 72 RPM hard drive. I want to make it a little bit faster when I turn it on. And also we will be able to install or load our apps, edit, and we're trying to render. It should be a little bit faster using a M2 SSD. I do not want to forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel, it's time. Click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and also click the notification icon so that we're going to be notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos faster for you. And if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. So you can see that the one I ordered from Amazon is the TimeTag M2 SSD. Have been sitting on my desk for the last few months, but today I had some time. Let's put it together and see how it looks without you taking it to a tag. I am going to explain everything as detailed as possible. So this we're going to learn. And also, if you want to do this at your comfort of your home, you can do it. Make sure that you have little parts like proper screwdriver. If you guys want to order those, I can give you links where you can order it in very cheap prices. So here we go. For the time tag M2 SSD link will be available in the bottom of this video. But no, they didn't sponsor this video and also they didn't help me to get any kind of discount on this. But I kept it for a few months since it says three years warranty. I thought, you know what? Let's do this a little bit later to install. So here we go. Laptop itself is already flipped over. And as you can probably already seen that I've already started taking the screws out and there is a lot of screws. So no, it's not like the old laptops that you have to take the battery out, do this and that. So the battery is already internal, but you have to take all the screws out, which is quite a bit. And once you take it out, you have to have the little parts that you can open. So if you look, I am using a guitar pick and that's something I printed with a 3D printer that I have and video will be coming out in the future for the 3D printer itself. But here you go. Once you slowly open it up and all the back just comes off, make sure that you don't put a lot of force. It's very easy to come out. There you go. And now this is the interior. You can see that it is so nice. Again, I'm using this for almost a year, this laptop. But you can see how clean it is. And I'm taking it everywhere. So I thought there's going to be some dust, but no, it's perfect. So once you open it, you take the M2 SSD out. And there only goes one way in, so you're not going to want to make a mistake. Make sure you take the little screw a little bit out or totally out. In this case, I took it out. And once you push it in, it sticks up a little bit. Push it down and put the screw on to make sure it sits properly. And once that is done too, I wanted to make sure that it works first. So what I did was I flipped it over, I turned it on, and it took about a minute for it to boot in, and then it was good. So I knew that my Windows is bootable. That's not the only part. I had to put everything back together, and you can see me just putting it back pressing a little bit on the back of this laptop itself and then put the screws on.
So one of the screws also went onto it. This is another good part. I flipped it back, hooked it up. Put the power on and hold the power to comes on. And this is the screen you will see. So first thing we will do is we're going to go into the folders itself. And you can see it on the screen. There's one part that says this PC. We will right click on that and we will go to manage. That's the first thing. I want to bring it in the middle of the screen and then we're going to click on disk management. So I want to zoom in a little bit for this part so you can see this. Once it comes up, here's my SSD. So it is, you can see it that it says 447 gigabyte. It's not a 500 gigabyte, by the way. So it does say on the packaging too that it is 440 gigabyte. And this is my internal storage. So yes, by default, it already come pre-installed and there are some little partitions. Don't delete them. Keep them as that, what it shows. So that means is my M2 SSD is readable. That's the beautiful part. Now let's go to the next step. So we will close this and also here, and you can see that you cannot see it, only see C drive, so there's nothing else. So we will close this and now we will go to a website. And there you go, this is the screen. So now let's go through and install something called tiny partition. So we'll go to search and type tiny partition. Here's the best part is the software is free. It's called partition wizard mini tool. This is the one and it's called mini partition. We will click on that to download. It says free. You will get this page. Click on download. Now we will give it a couple of seconds and there you go. Now it's telling me to download it and install it. So I will be downloading it in the download folder. And then once it is done, we will click on it to open. And there you go. We say yes, English or OK to go next. Minimize the screen. I will say accept, click next, 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 next. We will go back. So we don't want to install any third party apps that is part of this. We will say next and install. So it was trying to push us to download some other app on this computer and we're not going to allow that. So once this is done, we will say finish so you can launch. It will take you to their website. We don't really look for that. We're not really looking for that to go to their website. So in the meantime, I just want to take you guys through on how this is done. So there you go. Once this comes up, it has a lot of little options. The one we need is going to say disk clone. So we'll click on that. And there you go. So yes, it's going to be full screen. We got to close this and we can say next. So now it tells us to select which one you want to clone. So we will click this one and then we're going to say next and where you want to clone it to. So we're going to select the proper one. We will say next. So it shows us exactly what is trying to clone and how much it will show up. So we're going to say fit for entire partition right there it says fit partition to the entire disk or it says copy partition without resizing and we cannot select it. So it's only the first one and we will say next and that's it. Click finish. Once this part is done, you're not done yet. So we will close this off and on the top it says apply. So we will say apply and then say yes. Now this part will take a little bit for it to go through and process. We will get back to this once this is totally done. So once this was processed, it requested us to reboot the PC, which we did. And then it went through this screen. So now it's just copying everything through DOS and putting everything on the SSD. Remember that there's a lot of internal information that had to be moved and you cannot do it inside of Windows. So once this is also done, it will just log back in and it just reboots. Now once it's totally boot up, you have to grab your mouse, click on it one time, and we will go to start button. I also have one that says restart, 
we're just going to say shut down this way it's totally off and you're going to see the keys also going to be turned off and the light for the power is off so we will click it one time and now we have to press f2 a couple of times so this way it goes into the bio system for the asus there you go now here's the best part you can see that both of the hard drives are showing so one is the one that came with this laptop and one is the one we installed and you can see that it does indicate that the one that we installed is 480 gigabyte have all the information there so we need to make that one boot up system so in order to do that we have a few places that we can switch so the one that says this is my main drive I have to drag and drop it in the bottom that's the that's the first part and also we can go to advanced boot mode and we're going to go to the boot section and we have to make sure that the fast boot is enabled and also the one that is going to boot first is going to show up right there that's not the only thing also we're going into advanced and make sure that the internal point is enabled and leave the rest as default and then we're going into save and exit so we will select and we will say okay now it just boots back out and now it's the first time it's going to boot and using the m2 ssd and remember that this is the first time it goes back in so it will be a little bit slower for first time to go in and there you go so you see that it boots up a little bit faster now let's see if we still have that update going on and yes we have so we will select that first so let that just go through and update and then once it's all done we will go back and then we will capture the screen we will show a little bit of reading how everything else all right so once it boots in i changed the desktop wallpaper to this one and uh, let's go next so once it rebooted and we already linked everything to the ssd which is the m2 ssd we will open our file explorer and this we will click on the this pc and now you can see that the c drive is the 480 gigabyte you can see that has been partitioned into now let's go through and find out where the main hard drive is remember it's not going to be visible because it also has a lot of boot information in so remember that once cloning it rebooted and it rebooted again and there was an update i had to accept and it rebooted again right now you can see that i used about 40 percent of the hard drive already with a preloaded app so i will delete some apps afterward but let's go right now and show you what's exactly happening so we will right click on this pc go to manage it will take a couple of seconds for it to go through I'll bring this in the middle of the screen and we will go to disk management and here we go so our disk zero now is the m2 ssd hard drive which is, which is 447 gigabyte it says but i know that it's 480 since it got some little partitions and certain things are moved around and there is a little hidden compartment for the operating system that is also installed in there so if something happens we can wipe it and using the ssd that with a hidden part we will be able to restore everything because this is asus laptop so looking at the bottom is the one terabyte hard drive that was inside of this laptop that came with i gotta mention again that it is a little bit slow and that's why it was taking me roughly about a minute and a half for me to log in to this windows itself and i showed you once i switched it was less than 15 seconds for it to go in all right, so let's go through and wipe this whole thing. So, so we will click here and we will say delete volume. And we will say yes. We will go here too. And it looks like I cannot do these. All right, so we will go through and we have to say to new simple volume or volume. We will click that, say next. We will use the whole hard drive and we will say next. And now we will name it E drive since D is already taken there. Or you can put any of the letters that you want. I will be using E and I will say next. And now it asks me that what type of format I want. Since I'm going to use it mostly for Windows, NTFS is one of the best thing. We will leave the 
allocation, unit size to default, and also volume name, we're going to name it backup. There you go. And leave this on a perform quick format, and we will say next. You can get rid of that check mark, and you can make it so it can format, and it will take a little bit longer. But since I'm making this video, we do not want to waste your time. We will say quick format, and we will say finish. So now anything inside of that will be white. But since we cloned it already, we do not have to worry that where it is. And there you go. Now it has been partitioned. Now we can go to it and here it is. It is 930 gigabyte of unused. So now I can move a lot of my items from here to the E drive. So it will be a lot empty. And all of the apps that I'm going to uninstall, I'm going to reinstall it and the e-drive or i can totally factory reset this laptop and i can reset up everything from scratch will take a little bit longer so at the meantime i came out to show you guys how you are able to take your m2 ssd hard drive install it on your asus laptop and you can take it next level all right we don't want to forget and let you guys know that the information that we have for the ssd itself which is the m2 ssd it indicates we have a really good numbers the read was 1200 megabytes per second and the write is 900 megabytes per second but once we install it and we start using it when i try to run the read and write these are the numbers that i got the read is half of that and the write I should say is 430 so it's not exactly what it showed for me on the screen that when i was purchasing it again it is really fat than the actual hard drive that was part of it if you do want to purchase this m2 ssd hard drive link will be available in the bottom of this video plus if you want to purchase the same laptop so that we can process these steps please request a little question in the bottom of this video we love to help you out where you can get one of these laptops again asus does its work a little bit different than the other laptops that are hp out there dell there's a bunch of them that i really like but this one really sticks out this is made for gaming purposes that comes with the 1050 graphics card but it is a budget laptop by the way but again it does the work for us perfectly it is i5 8 generation cpu and also the gpu is 1050 which is really good the only thing that i was lacking on was the hard drive and the ram so i upgraded ram to 16 gig for the meantime and also i got this remember that since we call it budget everything was on budget and it took me a little time for everything to come together i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment in the bottom don't forget to visit our website which is exitx.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you